Back here on the floor at Quicken Loans Arena after yet another twist and turn in this final series between the Cleveland Cavaliers and Golden State Warriors. The Warriors with the huge win tonight. Step up win. Seku Smith from NBA.com. Lang Whitaker from the All Ball blog. John Schumann from NBA.com as well. Guys, did we see that moment when the Warriors decided they had had enough of this, enough of these superhero stories and fairy tales and restored a little order to the series? I thought it was from the tip. You know, they, they, they fell down 7 nothing, but I thought they got good shots. They missed a couple of open corner threes early. I thought there was a, a, an emphasis on quick touches, like not hanging on to the ball, just pass the ball. And if, if even if the pass doesn't do anything, just get rid of it and keep it moving, swing it from side to side, and I thought that got their offense going a little bit. And then defensively, I, I thought they were a little bit more aggressive on LeBron James and, and trying to help get other guys to beat them. They weren't afraid of Tim, Tim, Timothy Mozgov in the post. They weren't afraid of Matthew Dellavedova shooting off a kick out. So right. I thought they, they definitely sort of forced things a little bit more on both ends of the floor. Huge move, obviously. Brilliant move by Steve Kerr, you know, to put Andre Iguodala in the starting lineup, take Andrew Bogut out, change the tempo, change the dynamics, and, and really gave the Warriors a chance to play to their strengths. Did it not, Lane? I think we all knew that the, the Warriors were going to make some sort of change. There was a couple of ideas floating around. You double LeBron more, maybe you change the lineups, change the rotations. I don't think we thought they were going to do all the changes <laughs> at the same time. I mean, they started Iguodala. Even though he came out and said he wasn't changing the starting lineup, then he did it anyway. Uh, Bogut played two minutes, I think, tonight. Yes, yeah, two, three minutes. Two, three minutes. Uh, they doubled LeBron a lot more, a lot earlier, in the, and they, they managed to change the tempo that way too. Um I think they had more points at half than they've had in any game this this uh, playoffs. And the only time that it kind of, I felt Cleveland kind of grabbed momentum was that third quarter. Um, they out rebounded the Warriors by 11 in the third quarter, I think. And and but other than that, Golden State was playing downhill tonight. Yeah, no question. That, I mean, I'm blaming it on Ric Flair being here. The minute I saw Ric Flair, I knew it was going to be, <laughs> I knew it was going to be trouble in here tonight. But shoot, the, the the outside shooting dried up big time for Cleveland. Couldn't. Couldn't make shots. I mean, they were getting looks. LeBron was still creating looks, just could not cash in. To me, it, it felt like as much as the first three games seemed like Cleveland had a chance on adrenaline alone yeah. to swing the series in their momentum, now you look at it and say the Warriors have have pushed this thing right back the other direction, 2-2 going back for game five Sunday at Oracle Arena with a chance to not only get a, that win but come back here and have shown they can come here and win. Yeah, they they got their swagger back a little bit, and now Cleveland's going to have to find a way to win another game at Oracle Arena, uh, either Game 5 or Game 7. Um, so I, yeah, definitely things are on the Warriors' side. They have home court advantage. They found themselves a little bit. Uh, they, they know they're the best team in the league, and, and, and they played like it tonight. How strange is Lang to see, you know, and every time we're at the finals this happens, you know, whoever wins the game, the story quickly transforms from whatever it was the previous game right. to, okay, now this team is, I mean, 2-2, two, two, you know, with home court advantage again back in their hands. The Warriors do seem like they've got everything the way they need it. 48 hours ago, Matthew Della Vadova was the MVP of these finals. Right. And 48 hours later, Andre Guadalla is the MVP <laughs> of these finals. It's going to change again right. three days from now. Who knows what's going to happen? Um, Two guys that were coming off the bench for the majority of the season <laughs> for these two teams. Yes. Iguodala didn't start a game all season. Right. Yeah, they. I just don't. It's it's going to change every game, and I think you know we rush to judgment because that's what sure. we get paid to do. But uh, let's give it a little time to breathe and see what happens uh, two days from now in Oakland. Yeah, we having the extra day gives everybody a chance to decompress a little bit. Do you think? Do you think LeBron want, wishes it was two three two right now? Oh. That's another that's an argument home. for another day. Another day at yeah, home. Exactly. That's an argument for another day because this format would have served them really well. The old format would have served them really well. I think the the two two one 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 certainly doesn't play in Cleveland's favor. Not only the schedule, but having to go back and forth for those final three games. So yeah, those guys are shorthanded. They're still playing. They're still playing seven guys. Yeah. I mean, that's that's that takes its toll, and it's going to be a long series. And these are. You know, games that are going late, we've seen the, the Warriors have been at their best in the fourth quarter. Even the games they lost, they were at their best in the fourth quarter, and that may be depth showing up. When, they, yeah. when the Cavs emptied the bench at the end of the game, I felt like they were punishing Perkins and Mike Miller. And those, victory cigars. Those, those guys did not want to come in the game with three minutes to go, man. Yeah. Only the, you know, we've had in Cleveland, they've had the, the drive, the fumble. They've had, tonight might be the scooter. 
Yeah, the minute you saw J.I. rolling in like that on wheels. And again, anytime Ric Flair shows up in the building, prepare for pandemonium. That's right. I love it. The finals, game four, huge win for the Golden State Warriors on the road here at Quicken Loans Arena. Seku Smith from NBA.com, John Schumann from NBA.com, Lang Whitaker from NBA.com, and the All Ball blog joining us here. We will see you next time.